think the, the biggest reason for choosing Hong Kong had to do with Hong Kong cinema. You know, at the time we were watching a lot of like Hong Kong cinema action flicks and you know, just loved like the action, loved the setting. You know, so for us it was just made perfect sense to bring, you know, the action, bring an open world game to somewhere that, you know, gamers had never been before. Got this meshing of, of cultures. You've got the, the Eastern culture and the Western culture. The Western culture being the British involvement in Hong Kong and how those two cultures have sort of been fused together over the past century and a half uh, it has, has really shaped that city. You have the crazy extremes and the crazy characters just there for your, your enjoyment. Watching movies, uh, we all love watching action movies, but that wasn't enough. And reading books, and there are lots of them about the cop's relationship with the triads, that wasn't enough. Um, we wanted to go there and experience it and understand uh, not just what it meant to be there, but the elements that they could bring back. For the first time, we experienced the city through the viewfinder of our cameras, so we were just taking photos nonstop. There are parts of the city where it felt like you were just walking in a, in a canyon of, of signage, you know what I mean? And then from there, the following day, you go to a different part of the city where it feels vast and open and, and, and modern. And you're seeing a building that's over 100 stories tall, and next to it, there's a tiny little temple. You see guys hanging out on a street corner who look like they were in a street fight, and they were triad guys who actually were in a street fight. The key for us about the triads and about Hong Kong was just how interwoven like the triads are into society. It's not like there's a bad guy that you can point to the whole time. They're part of the fabric. We were really lucky to be able to talk to people on both sides, the, the police and the triad. We talked to a, uh, a member of uh, very high up, and I guess you'd call it the Hong Kong Secret Service. He was fascinating to talk to, just in terms of understanding what the threats were in Hong Kong. We talked to uh, a couple of members of the triads as well, who took our writer into some very interesting places. He never felt at risk, but uh, he learned some interesting things. We heard a story when we were there with one of our contacts driving around the city. He told us about a particular entertainment figure who during his program had said some rather nasty things about one of the local triad leaders and that this guy was chopped. Chopped being the term of being attacked by a triad but left alive. No sooner had he told us the story than we drove around a corner and he said, well, there he is. And sure enough, there was this guy walking down the street who we passed who was years after the attack but very visibly limping and very visibly maimed. Hong Kong has such a kind of chaotic and uh, multi-layered architectural approach to it, which allowed us to do many new things with the way the player uh, traverses the environment. But we've basically taken the essence of the city, the essence of the lifestyle, and designed all of our gameplay mechanics around that so that we can basically embrace the culture, but also create an experience where players will actually feel like a, you know, gangster. Hong Kong is an island, and what we did was create an island with four separate neighborhoods. North Point, which is where you start the game, which is more reminiscent of Kowloon. Central Hong Kong, very famous skyline. Kennedy Town, built on the side of uh, one of the hills in Hong Kong, more of an affluent neighborhood. And then Aberdeen Harbor, around the back of the island. You know, the traffic is on the left-hand side of the street. We decided for the sake of authenticity that we were gonna go with that. We wanted to, to capture a bit of everything, you know, because really what's unique about Hong Kong is its diversity. And we wanted to capture that diversity. And small things like the, the tiny alleyways, the cluttered alleyways that, that feel dingy, uh, foreign, and threatening in, in, in some ways. Layers of, of signage and, you know, pipes and wires and, and hanging laundry. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit overwhelming in the beginning, but then you start slowly getting adjusted to, to what you're seeing. If you want to spend time just roaming around the island, enjoying the races and the mini games and the events and favors and shopping and all that kind of stuff, then that's entirely there for you to do. That the final result is a city that feels authentic, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's fun to explore and to, to experience. <laughs>